Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching magnet television because what else are you going to do? Hi, my name is P. Camber, otherwise known as Sonic Boom. I have a new album, All Things Being Equal. Probably my all-time favourite song, if I had to pick one, would be uh, the Doctor Who theme by Delia Derbyshire, a radiophonic workshop, uh, written by Ron Grainer. It's been a really uh, influential piece in my life. Um, uh, I remember it from a small child, it's one of my oldest musical memories. And eventually, in the 90s, I met Delia Derbyshire, and she took the time to teach me all about music, electronic music, the theory of music, and things which I had no uh, schooling in at all. And uh, I feel very privileged to have known her and um, to have that piece of music in my life. If I had to pick one record that I feel uh, changed my life um, in a dramatic way, I would say it was this record by the Velvet Underground, um, their first LP. I chanced upon it when I was 13 or 14 in a little record store in uh, Coventry. And I, I confess, I think I mostly bought it because I just really liked the sleeves. And I had an interest in Warhol and his pop um, stuff of that era. So I bought it really for the sleeve. And I thought that the record would be at best a bonus. And I got home and I couldn't believe it. And I couldn't believe how good it was how different it was, how varied it was, and 50 years later, I still feel, um, 50 years after its release, 50 years and change, I still feel it's uh, a really important record. And I know Brian Eno famously said that this record never sold a lot of copies, but everyone who bought one formed a band and um, I don't know what greater compliment you could give to a record, but um, this definitely made me uh, want to form a band. So, uh, well done, Graham, first LP. If I had to pick one of all the shows that I've been to that I thought were really great shows, I would have to pick the time when I saw Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five in the early 80s. Um, I was kind of dragged along by my friends. I didn't really want to go. The message, which had been, I think, their only hit at that time, hadn't really resonated particularly with me. But my friends were going, they were psyched about it. So I went along um, as an observer, I guess. Uh, but um, it kind of kind of blew my mind as much as uh, just a rock band can do that um, the way that they created their backings delivered them live and the dancing and technique um, and uh, audience manipulation skills uh, was second to none and I've still never seen another concert on quite that level since. Uh, so yeah, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. My most embarrassing musical moment, I'm pretty uh, sure, is when I was playing with Panda Bear on the Tomboy tour. Um, Towards the end of the show at the Electric Ballroom, we were doing a show for Barry Hogan, ATP, and I leant forward at the end of the set, before the encore, and tipped my drink right into the power supply. 
uh, fuse the stage, the PA, the house lights, the bar lights, everything instantly went out. Um, and I managed to scrabble around and to uh, dry off the plugs and get it all plugged in and going again. Uh, but um, that was that might be my most embarrassing moment for myself, although the audience thought it was intentional and loved it. The, 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 the finale of just shutting everything down, I think, was something they hadn't seen before and something I hadn't seen before either. <laughs> okay, might have to do that one. Sine.